Coming to you from Leland, Michigan once again. I'm here with my lovely wife, Ellen. Say hello, Ellen. Hi. Um, today we're going to be making uh, one of our favorite Leland dishes. Uh, it's going to be a, a broiled whitefish with a nice Parmesan mayonnaise uh, onion topping. So we uh, have some whitefish right here. This is courtesy of Carlson's Fishery in Leland, Michigan. Give them a little plug. Uh, this is a recipe that we have kind of adapted and modified over the years, but it is a tradition that we have this once or twice. So Ellen's going to make the, um, the topping. That's a very simple topping. And Ellen, why don't you tell them what we got here? We have about a cup, cup and a half of mayonnaise, depending on how many fish fillets you have and then some uh, Parmesan cheese, nothing fancy. You can buy it, the green jar Parmesan uh, in the refrigerator case. We have some green onions. You wanna have the green part uh, mixed in and a little lemon juice to top the fish. So the, the topping, very simple. Um, Parmesan cheese, mayonnaise, green onion, and lemon juice. And so what we always um, say to do with the protein is we're going to um, we're going to salt and pepper it. So, Alan, you want to put a little, little salt and pepper on this? Always, any kind of protein should always get a little salt and pepper um, just to spice it up a little bit. And then we'll put the topping on. So this fish from Carlson's was probably caught this morning in either Lake Michigan or Lake Superior. So it is fresh, fresh, fresh. So you do not want to overdo any topping. This is a very simple topping. Let me pull these out of the way. So we're just going to put this on and while we're doing this we're going to make sure your broiler is on high. And this is going to cook very quickly in about five minutes. So it's, this is one of the um, one of the fun things about this dish. Not only is it tasty uh, and easy to put together, but it cooks very quickly. So but just, we're just sure going to put the. But you do have to make sure that the fish is cooked through, so that the topping can brown. But if depending on the thickness of the fish fillets. You may want to uh, just make sure that the oven is on so that you make sure that the fish is cooked through. Exactly. So Ellen is um, a wonderful cook in her own right. She just doesn't have time to do a blog like I do. But she's, um, she's very talented, very creative, um, and this is her dish that she is kind of um, taken ownership of because of the way that it's put together and, and is, um, it's become a family favorite and whenever we have guests up here it's one of the things that we serve. So we'll be right back. Um, we're going to put this in the oven on the broil and we'll see you in just a minute. Alright, so we're going to put the um, fish in. It's going to go into a broiler and we're going to time how long it takes. We'll show you about halfway through. Um, I wanted to mention that this is a good recipe for any type of fish. Uh, the topping works. Uh, we just happen to be in Michigan, so we're having Lake Michigan whitefish, but this will work with any fish. And um, the only caveat is the thinner the fish, the quicker it will cook. So we'll be back in just a minute to show you the finished product, and probably we'll, we'll try to show you also halfway through. All right, we're about three minutes in. I want to give you a little bit of a view. You see it's browning very nicely. That's not as dark as it looks, that's just the lighting. But it is starting to get a little toasty on top. So we'll give it another couple minutes and we'll be back with the finished product. All right, so we're about five and a half minutes. I'm gonna pull this out and show you. Look at that um, 
beautiful, crusty. It's um, the topping is just bubbling. So we're gonna serve it on our little fish platter here. Um, very simple. Might need a second spatula, Ellen. You gonna help me? Here we go. I'll come on this, this side. So. Why don't we split them because right. sometimes it's hard to get them off in one. If you're lucky, you get them off in one piece, yeah. but. There we go. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. All right. So this, so this, this dish took all of about, oh, 10 minutes to put together by the time we um, made the, uh, the topping and then put it in the oven and serving it, we're at about 10 minutes. So the last thing we'll do is we'll put a little chopped parsley on, just for a little color. And as you can see, just beautiful. Just beautiful. So hopefully you've enjoyed this. Ellen, thank you for sharing your recipe with us. Thank you, Ellen. You're welcome. And we'll see you again next time, hopefully with my youngest son, Carlo, and he'll have some um, interesting recipe to share with the group. Until then, thanks for watching.